I took my shoes off. I took my shoes off and made it happen. I'm putting it back, putting them back on. And these guys are getting ready to cross right now. I was a west. Yes. Your turn. Anthony. Oh. Oh, my legs hurt. How was that? Painful. Hector's ready to ready to rock and roll. We're still putting on our shoes. You jumped across. Yeah. Dude. Heck yeah, dude. See you, Matt. Well, what's up, guys? We're here on the trail. We got the guys with us. We uh, started at uh, Maumier, and we're heading up to Dobbs today. Um, we're actually going to try to get there. I know the last few trips that I went to Dobbs didn't quite work out uh, so well, but uh, yeah, we uh, got a good crew of guys with us today, and uh, we're going to be overnighting, and uh, yeah, we're going to have a great time. Wow, dude, that's such a cool shot. Stay right there. If you look down there, you could see the uh, creek that we just uh, uh, walked over earlier, Mill Creek. That thing's kicking. I've never seen it that high up, and it was really crazy because there were parts that it had cut out when it had flooded. I mean, it just absolutely washed out so much area. We had to climb up pretty high to just get out of the uh, creek in general, so good stuff. Look up there, back on Yukaipa Ridge, there's still uh, snow up there. So I'm making some coffee here real quick, try to warm up, even though I'm out in the sun, man, I'm really feeling some of this cold, but uh, yeah, we're coming along, we're going to be making dinners here soon, everyone's got camp set up, we, uh, we're all just hanging out right now, having a great time. Yeah. 
Man, I guess it was better that I didn't bring my tarp up. There we go. This is how I'm living. I brought a bag of pepperonis trying to keep a keto on the trail. Okay, so this is the uh, shelter that I brought with me, the duplex. It's the one that won. I know, I was totally expecting the, uh, the uh, tarp and bivy to win, but uh, looking at the lay of the land around here, it's almost like better that it uh, worked out with the duplex. I mean, I barely fit the duplex in this uh, little spot over here. But uh, no, I'm gonna be happily using the duplex tonight. Some of the gear that I have with me today, um, I have my, um, right over there I have my um, Thermarest Neo Air. Um, right there, that bag was just holding some of my clothes. I had taken out my EE Tour jacket. And uh, I've got my Z-Packs 5 degree quilt. Uh, we met some backpackers on the way up here and they had said that it got very cold last night so I'm really glad I brought that one instead of the 20 degree so I should be toasty and warm. Uh, over there I got my ULA Catalyst that I was using and my bag of knickknacks right about there kind of blending in but um, that's kind of like my bag of knickknacks and uh, stuff that was in my bag and uh, just kind of throw that in there to kind of keep things organized. And I have my pillow uh, way back over there. I don't know if you guys can see it kind of right about there and that's my uh, my um, my pillow um, that I got a uh, custom uh, I got a custom uh, pillowcase for that thing so it kind of compresses the pillow and fits perfectly under my neck. What I also did with my um, my Z-Pax tent over here is I felt that there was like a, a wind coming from this side. So what I did is I went ahead and just closed off this side entirely. Now of course the wind could shift at any time and you know I can I'll have to adjust and what have you but it actually kind of worked out pretty good because the uh, the amount of space that I had over there really wasn't too much so it's okay that I've kind of closed off that that way and pretty much I'm going to be doing my uh, entry and exit out of this side. But um, yeah, shockingly this fit in this little little area. Initially I was kind of like, oh yeah, I think I can get it to fit in there. And then as I was putting this together, I was having second thoughts, but it, uh, it worked out great. What I'm starting to do now too, which has made a huge difference, is um, I'm starting to use, let me zoom in on those guys. I'm starting to use MSR groundhog stakes, the, the real deal things. And uh, man, I've just had so much trouble with the other ones that um, you know that uh, I'm just yeah so what I'm starting to use now too is uh, MSR full-size MSR groundhog stakes and uh, boy they've made such a difference with, with pitching this thing I've often said that Southern California has a uh, very loose soil and those shepherd hook stakes even though they, they do go into the ground very easily um, they really I really struggle to get them to hold so I, uh, I'm really glad I'm starting to use the uh, the Z or the uh, the um, uh, groundhog stakes with my Z-Pack stuff, and I'm doing them in every single every single point has them. Um, I know sometimes a lot of people probably uh, it's not really focusing, but I know a lot of people sometimes just do the uh, do the ridge line with a uh, with a groundhog and then do shepherd's uh, hooks for the rest. But no, I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, full size groundhogs no matter what. Some of the other tents that are here too. Uh, Wes's setup right over here. This is a Lunar Solo. Um, really cool pitch on this one. Man, he's got plenty of room in there. Yeah, I love this thing. He's got the Lucy light hanging from the top right up over there. So uh, he's got a pretty cool system, I have to admit. Uh, he's got a uh, 40 degree bag with a liner in there. So he's gonna be all set for tonight. Uh, even though it's supposed to get a little bit cold, he should be sleeping plenty warm with that setup. The other tent that we have over here is we have the uh, the other Lunar Solo that's owned by Anthony and he's got all these different modifications um, on his tent. Pretty cool mods. Um, he put uh, uh, Line Lock 3s and then Lost and Glow Line um, on his uh, on his tent. So yeah, when you shine your light on it at night, man, it really, it really shines. It's actually pretty cool looking <laughs> when you shine your light on it. But uh, yeah, he's got his ridge line with... Uh, with uh, Lawson's glow line. Uh, he's got a cool little thermometer here. So get to know what the uh, weather's gonna be like tonight. And uh, for his other tie out, he went ahead and just tied it up to the tree over there. So he should have plenty of space 
in here too, just like Wes. Great shelter indeed, Lunar Solo. The other setup that we have over here, this is Robert's setup. He has an REI uh, quarter dome, very cool tent. A uh, freestanding tent, so uh, yeah, easy peasy with the setup. He's got his Lucy light going there too. And um, what was really cool, check that out. HMG, baby, man. This is a great pack, and uh, yeah, Robert had it all dialed in. It was a, uh, it was great, man. I, I really, really dig HMG stuff. So yeah, when I saw, when he pulled that thing out of his uh, car, I was kind of like, woo, my goodness, I got all happy. But uh, yeah, Robert's rocking the uh, the REI uh, quarter dome tent. Yeah, good stuff. And then definitely, last but not least, we got Hector set up over here. He has the 0.74. Uh, duplex. This is the uh, newer duplex. You know that it's the uh, latest model um, because these uh, tie outs over here, they're circular. The ones on mine are uh, about a couple years old where they were still doing the triangles. But um, yeah, that's one easy way to tell if, the, uh, if your uh, Z-Pax product is a, a newer one. It has circular um, patches over here where the tie outs are. But uh, he has the Seafoam Green 0.74. Very cool. He's got a nice top pitch on that. And he's using the uh, Carbon Core style stakes, the z Packs brand, but uh, they're Carbon Core. Uh, similar to kind of how MSR does, but uh, they have their own branding. And in this nice sand, I mean, they really hold very, very well. And uh, they're working great. He is rocking, I'm not sure what pad he has, but this is a Cedar Ridge outdoor quilt. Very nice quilt, made in the USA. Always a good thing. And uh, yeah, he was rocking his ohm, uh, ohm pack. And I have to admit, I was pretty, pretty impressed with the ohm. I, I thought it was a much smaller pack, uh, but no, that thing was, uh, uh, as far as its capacity, it was, it was quite uh, interesting how much can actually be held in that thing. But yeah, there you go. Another really cool setup. This one from uh, Hector. And yeah, man, we're, we're living it up here. We're burning <laughs> out our camp chairs here. Our, uh, yeah, ultra light be damned. We brought our camp chairs with us. Now, granted, these are the lightest chairs you can buy, so at least we kept it ultra light in that regard. But, uh, but no, we are we are certainly uh, enjoying the creature creature comforts uh, comforts at this uh, camp out. So good stuff. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna be making some sausage, um, some Farmer John spicy sausage, and I got a couple eggs over there, and that's gonna be my dinner tonight. Yummy, tasty. Everything a growing boy needs. With a partner. Looks like organic egg. Only the finest. I have a... Love that. Your lens cap is still on. All right, so here's the final product right there. We've got some uh, Farmer John spicy sausage. We've got some, uh, a couple eggs and then some uh, avocado. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to that and uh, we're gonna be grubbing tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and make some tea right now. It's uh, finally gotten nighttime. It's pretty cold out here. It's not too terribly bad, but uh, yeah, you could definitely feel a chill in the air. So I'm gonna make myself some uh, peppermint tea. So yeah, this, uh, this stuff right here. I make a, some peppermint tea, pure peppermint tea. Just kind of warm up a little bit. It's uh, it's pretty cold. It's not horrible, but uh, yeah, wonderful opportunity to warm up with some peppermint tea. Yeah. If you wake up before me, by the way, can you give me a little nudge? Sure. Just like flash me with your flashlight or something. Or... Just walk up and be like, oh, I really like this tag. Walk up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I feel your foot? Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro, 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 can I feel your quilt? <laughs> that stove does not simmer very well. It's the only thing. What are you taught? This thing? Yeah. That thing like, simmers no, 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 great. No, no, for an extremely low simmer, it'll just conk out because it's so quiet. Oh, uh, that is true. Yes. Alrighty, well, it's fine. Time to go to sleep. It's, uh, it's pretty chilly, but it's not that bad. But I'm still glad that I brought the five degree right here. This thing, I'm uh, already starting to notice my legs are getting warm, which is feels just great. Uh, I thought that I'm gonna be able to sleep well tonight and not be cold. 
absolutely loving it. So uh, we are off to bed, and uh, we're looking for an early start tomorrow to uh, head out of here. But uh, so far, great adventure. Survived the night, had my breakfast. We're starting to pack up here, and uh, we're going to head on out and uh, see if we can meet up with Matt a little bit later uh, here. But uh, yeah, slept pretty good. The uh, five degree quilt uh, worked amazingly well uh, last night. So yeah, very happy with the results. All right, so this was the uh, setup last night. Slept really good until there was a, uh, a helicopter that came over uh, last night. It was really odd. Yeah, it just kind of flew around a bunch and then said uh, something like Donnie parking lot and then like took off. So we didn't know what that was all about, but uh, yeah, it made for an interesting evening. Okay, so we are all packed up and we are ready to rock and roll here. Yep, Had a good it. night last night. Woo. Except for the helicopter flying around, waking all of us up. Uh, yeah, so it was pretty doggone fun.